but you had a million players and you know those players probably spend uh, let's just say for this example a dollar a day you know it's not really okay. it's not equal across all players but let's say a dollar a day now imagine that those million players you know it probably cost you to support those million players through customer service say just for just to keep it simple, $100,000. So imagine if you were able to look at all of the data sources that a su su support agent has to look at today, and there's like six or seven of them in any game studio, and you create a single interface where that gaming support agent can go in and get all of the information in one place and have an AI pre-write their response, hyper-personalized, based off of the gameplay, the Jira bug system, GitHub the dev system, the KB, externally, what's going on on Reddit. Imagine all that's in one place and that's hyper-personalized and the AI writes the response. Then the human then gets to look at it and say, yeah, I agree with it, or oh, let me edit it a little bit. And also imagine that, that AI can identify fraud. It has the ability to identify compensation mechanisms that you should provide to the player to get them to get back to the game and playing, offers that you should give to the player. So all of that happens simply and easily on the back end. And that customer support agent now just looks at the interface and says, okay, this is what I'm going to do. So what that does, interestingly enough, is that engagement gets decreased. So it might take 10 minutes to support a player in the past. Well, with Quimby, it takes two minutes or three minutes, right? You dramatically increase the amount of customers that an agent can engage with on a day-to-day -day basis. Two, that's hyper-personalized, so the, the player feels like it's fully customized to them and their game and what's happening and so forth. And then the outcome of those two themes is you get a decrease in cost optimization, which makes it easier for you to scale from a revenue and profitability standpoint, just keeping the same kind of high-quality customer service player support folks. And then secondarily, because you're getting back to the players immediately, because it's hyper-personalized, because you're providing them compensation that they need to get them back to playing the game, that million players that are making a dollar a day, so a million dollars a day for you, is now making $1.25 million for you, so an increase of 250000 But the cross-structure to support $1.25 million isn't 100000 anymore, it's 50000 You get this knock-on effect where you get to save 40 to 50% on the cost side, and you get to increase revenue which any company that I've engaged with, they want to make more money and they want to make more money and spend less money. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the video game space, there's massive spikes in volume, which right. is very difficult to handle. And so the AI also helps you to do that without having to hire lesser skilled support agents to handle that, which then becomes a less effective experience for those players. And so it solves for that problem too.